seventh station. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 15, verse 20. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Reflection Imagine having to carry an object that you know is about to kill you. It is impossible to conceive what it must be like to have to bear on your shoulders the cross beam to which soon your own hands will be nailed. As Jesus bore that piece of wood, maybe already stained with the blood of others killed on it, he must have felt cold, cruel terror at the appalling agony awaiting him. At least, though, he knew that his death had purpose. Jesus walked the way of the cross with absolute certainty that his crucifixion was the only way God could deal with human mortality, and that through his dying, countless would live. Though this death would be unspeakable, it was part of God's plan to save his people. That knowledge gave him the strength to walk the bitter route to Calvary. Jesus' death had purpose, and because of that, our deaths also can have purpose. James is an example. He was born with muscular dystrophy, and despite periodic times of illness and countless operations, he lived his life as fully as he could, made many friends, and loved his family. However, Soon after his 32nd birthday, it became clear that his body was giving up the fight. But even as he lay dying, James went on caring for the people around him, far more worried about them than about himself. He stayed faithful and bore witness to Christ in a way that astonished his family and friends. James had deep trust in the cross of Christ, and he believed that, because of the cross, his life had purpose beyond death. Jesus can bring comfort even to the dying. That is because if we can trust in him, we can see that our lives have a purpose that death has no power to touch. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you carried the cross through the rough, rough streets of Jerusalem. Be with those who are loaded with burdens beyond their strength. You bore the weight of our sins when you carried the cross. Help us to realise the extent and the cost of your love for us. To you, Jesus, bearing a cross not your own, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.